Hey, it's Gabe with the API Nation. Today I'm going to show you how you can sync Google contacts with your KW command. So that all those contacts and leads you have in KW command will automatically get synced to your phone through Google contacts. It also gets synced to Gmail. And as you add contacts to your phone or as you add contacts to Gmail, those will get synced into KW command for follow up there. It's super easy to set this up. Let me show you how. First thing you're going to do is go to the KW marketplace. I'm going to go ahead and search for Google contacts. And then I'm going to come on down here to other criteria and check the box next to command integrated. There we go. There's KW command and Google contacts. So you can click through here, view the details. You can read all about this thing, see some screenshots here, and then you'll just click the buy app button up here. I've already purchased it, so now it just says manage app. Once you go through the purchase process, you go into your My Apps area of the KW Marketplace, and you'll see a tile there for this sync. Because once you purchase the sync in the Marketplace, it doesn't mean it's active, that doesn't mean it's working yet. It means it's available to set up to activate. So now it's in the My Apps area, it's available to set up, so I'm going to go ahead and set it up. Super easy to do, click the tile, it's gonna take me out to API Nation. It's gonna ask me to connect my Google account. Just hit this button, connect the Google account, sign into the Google account you want connected here, and allow. All right, and now we're just gonna configure it a little bit. So for example, let's come all the way down here. It's gonna ask me what do I wanna sync? KW command to Google contacts, Google contacts to KW command. I'm doing both. You can see right now, if you only want to do it one direction, you could do that. Just uncheck the box of the sync you don't want, but I want both. Also, I'm going to confirm I'm not using any other platforms to sync these two apps. Finally, let's come on back up here before I set up these syncs. I can do a little pre-configuration. So for example, do I want to sync everybody from KW command into Google contacts? That's a great option. I can also make it so that I don't overwrite anybody in KW command. And then as people come into KW command, do I want them set as leads or I can uncheck the box and it'll set them as contacts. I want them set as leads. So I'm going to check the box. The connection to Google contacts. Again, I can sync everybody from Google contacts into KW command. So if you have a bunch of Gmail contacts, you've been meaning to put into KW command. You can do that here. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that. And then this contact folder is a great option. So what this means is in Google contacts, there's labels or folders, and you can set this up so that KW command uses one folder. So I could say, let's use that KW command folder that I've created. And now anytime I add somebody to KW command, it puts them in the KW command folder in Google contacts. And then when I add somebody to Google Contacts, they stay in Google Contacts until I put them in the KW Command folder, until I label them KW Command. So it's just a nice way to manage your contacts a little bit neater. Also, I'm gonna tell it, do not overwrite information. This all looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and continue. So by hitting continue, I've now created two syncs, but they're not yet active. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into each one, do a final check, and then activate it. So you can see I'm sending people from my KW command folder in Google contacts into KW command as leads, not overriding information. I'm just filling in blanks. There's this filter option, which is super helpful. So what you can do is you can get pretty nitty gritty here and only send over people based on some of the fields here. So I, if I only want to send over people from a certain company, I could do that. So I could say company equals or contains KW. Then what it's gonna do is just anybody who's in my Google contacts, whose company says KW, it's gonna send them into KW command. It's gonna create like a special list. I could do that. Or you could do it based on tags. You can do it based on email. I'm gonna go ahead and clear it out for now. I just want everybody from Google contacts added to KW command. Here's the mapping. So we do most of this for you. First name, last name, email, mobile phone. A couple really nice things here. You can see we've added the description field so the notes so if you want to put anything from google contacts into that description field you can so let's do something like job title 
Let's do it. Job title. So it's going to have job title and then it's going to put in the little tag here. And you can continue to put more and more things in the description folder. So maybe I also want to put notes. So all the notes I write in Google Contacts will end up here in the description full field of KW Command. Super helpful. This all looks great. I'm going to go to the top and activate this sync. So that's one sync active. I'm going to click on My Syncs. And I'm going to activate the second sync. Similar thing. I'm just going to double check exactly what's going on. Do I want to sync all contacts on first run from KW Command into Google? I actually do because I want them all in my phone. So I'm going to sync all those contacts. They're all going to end up in that folder, KW Command, which keeps them uh, nice and neatly organized here. I'm not going to override information. Again, we have the filter here. So often when you're doing this from KW Command to Google Contacts, we'll have people who say, ah, I only want to sync people to my phone who I tag phone or Google or Gmail or whatever you want. Um, but you can do it that way and just, again, get a little bit more control over who's going over. Or you can just keep the filter off, just get the contacts synced over. That way, all the contacts are in both places and you don't have to worry about it. Mapping looks good. I'm, again, I'm going to come down here to that notes field and sync it up to description. That way, I can get all that information in here. Great, that looks good. I'm going to go to the top and activate this sync. There we go. Sync is now active. I clip on my syncs. I can see I have two syncs. That means I have a two-way sync, Google Contacts to KW Command, KW Command to Google Contacts. A nice thing about here also, so let's say I'm sending people from KW Command into Google Contacts. Right now, I'm sending them into KW Command folder. But if I wanted to get a little bit more segmented, I could. So I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it Buyers. And then I'm going to create a filter here. And I'm going to say tags contains buyer save. So now what this does is it's going to send over these contacts into a label called buyers in Google contacts, which makes it a little bit more segmented and I'm a little bit more organized. So all I have to do now is tag them as buyer in KW command and they'll go into a folder in Google Contacts called Buyer. But obviously you're working with more than just buyers, so I'm gonna hit Clone. And this time I'm gonna do Sellers. Create a new folder, Sellers, and I'm gonna have that tag Sellers. And you can do this for buyers and sellers. We have people who do this for tags. So just they'll line up this tag with different folders. So if they have a hot tag, a Fizbo tag, they'll all end up in different folders here in Google Contacts. And you can just keep cloning this out um, and make very, very powerful workflows in that way. So that's it. Google Contacts, KW Command are now synced up and ready. Now, every time a contact or lead is added to KW Command, it'll get added to my phone. Every time I add a contact to my phone or to Gmail and I tag it with KW Command, it's going to get added to my CRM. I can follow up. I'm super productive. I don't have to worry about copy, pasting, import, export, none of that. It's an awesome way to get these two apps to work together seamlessly. If you need any assistance setting this up for you or your team, Go to apination.com slash kw. There you can call us, send us an email, and even set up a live session of support. We're API Nation connecting the world's applications. We love doing this stuff.